Hey everybody, uh, it's Todd. We are gonna take a break from today's regularly scheduled uh, real estate programming and we're gonna talk about the Tesla. Specifically, we're gonna talk about a tweet that Elon Musk sent out about how you can install or get the full self-driving beta on your Tesla. So, um, yesterday, this tweet came out by Elon Musk. It's right here. It basically said that we're gonna double the size of the beta program for full self-driving and then uh, the next one we're going to 10x. Well, what happened was, of course, unintended consequences. Everybody started calling Tesla and trying to, you know, going on Facebook groups and trying to figure out how do I get it because I want it. Because right now there's only about a thousand people that have it, and he's he's indicating there'll be two thousand and ten thousand. So a lot of people are wanting to get it. So he tweeted out sort of some rough ideas, but I, I did reach out to somebody and I found out exactly what you're gonna to need to get registered for full self-driving the beta. So you need three things, okay? So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna tell you the three things and then we're gonna get inside the car and I'm gonna show you where you find exactly where you can do this, okay? All right, so to get the full self-driving on your Tesla, you need three things. First of all, you need the car enabled to be full self-driving, which means you need the hardware chip and there's a place to look for that and I'm gonna show you. The second thing you're gonna need is you have to have paid for full self-driving, okay? If you didn't do it when you bought your car, you can do it one of two places, either in the Tesla app, or you can do it on the um, Tesla website. The third thing is you need to opt into the program. Now what's cool is, some of you may not realize this, there's a way to opt in to advanced software and updated software in the car. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump into the car and I'm going to show you exactly on the screen where everything is that um, you'll need to uh, select to get the software update. Okay, so there's three things you'll need. You'll need the chip, the software, and where to go to ask for the full self-driving beta. So the first thing you do is hit the car symbol. And um, uh, the first thing you're going to check is software. Okay, so we're going to hit select software. Okay. Now, two important pieces of information are going to be on in the software page. Um, you're, if, if you have paid for the sol, full self-driving capability, which in this case we have, right? It's this full self-driving capability. That means you paid for it. The second thing is, is if you have the hardware installed. And that is going to be here where it says additional vehicle information. So I'll select that. Okay. So under additional vehicle information, you see where it says autopilot computer, full self-driving computer. That means you have the hardware. So as long as you have the hardware and um, you have the software, your, your car is good to go. So now the next thing is going to be where to do it. And I'll show you that. Now, um, Elon said in his tweet, service. He said you would go to service. Well, as you can see, I have service selected. And if I go into service, there's really nothing in here that it could be. It's This is just actually for the service people. What I think he meant to say is it would be under software. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to software. I'm going to show you something at the bottom of the software page, which is where I think it's going to be, actually. Okay, so uh, we're on the software page. And if you look down here you can see where it says software update preference and there's standard advanced. Of course, I have this set to advanced. Um, what I believe is they'll probably add it here. Um, you know, they'll just stick it in here. It'll say Tesla update full self-driving volunteer. There'll be a disclosure. You'll have to check a block and do a bunch of stuff probably. But um, my guess is it'll be here. So if it's not under service, come to software, go to the bottom of the page and look for it here. This tells you the most current version of the software that you have, any release notes you can find on here as well. And then as you get software updates, check. Because software updates will update the user interface here. You can go in and see if you have uh, the latest update. So that was my Tesla update for today. I hope that it gave you some good information. Um, if you're interested in seeing more videos about Tesla cars or just about real estate in general, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you on the next video.